It's Doctor Strange, <laughs> and uh, it was written in the 60s, early 60s. Uh, obviously very flavored by the, uh, how the Western world was approaching uh, the, the Asian world at that point, and got inspired from there. So it would feel, to a degree, a little psychedelic, uh, uh, but hopefully not as much, so much that it doesn't feel like a Marvel film. Obviously when you, when you open up a box full of magic, uh, the, the, the sky is the limit from there, right? Uh, we're not talking about people who possess like, superpowers, we're talking about people who can alter realities, and that is amazing. I think that people should just lean back and, and, uh, and, and you know, clean the screen and, and go for the right, and see what it is. It's called Cassilia, is my character, and he is, uh, you probably would call him the villain, but in my world, he's a misunderstood hero. Um, he is, his task is to make the world a better place, a place where there's no suffering and no pain and where you live uh, eternally. Uh, I think he's onto something. I've never seen it before. I mean, I, I, obviously we had to imagine what was on the green screen, but that they actually did what they do now was, was mind-blowing for me. Obviously, we, we do it for, for, the, for the audience, and, and if the critics love it as well, or, or at least you know, doesn't dislike it, we are very happy and pleased. So, so, so we are very content that the, that the Rotten Tomato people are embracing this film. We've seen before what his talent is able to do. He's an amazing actor. He has a little of what Doctor Strange also has. He has the ability to pick up skills personally within a fraction of a second. I mean, he learned how to fight in a few days. He learned how to be a, a neurosurgeon in a few days. It's always nice to watch the film with an audience. I mean, that was my first time though, so I, I always prefer to watch it myself first. But then I was thrown into the lion's cage there and, and there was a good reaction in there. So, and I enjoyed it a lot. The Marvel Universe has always had a, a certain amount of humor, and it's such a fine balance. If you if you kill, throw, and you keep throwing, you know, punchlines in there, it can be too much, and if there's none, it can be too little. So that fine balance, I think they they got on this one.